In this video, we're going to be talking about when you need to do a throttle body relearn procedure. Most modern day vehicles have a electronically controlled throttle body similar to this one. It's not mechanical. It doesn't have a cable coming to it. There's nothing mechanical about it. Um, it's all electronically controlled. Now, they, sometimes they call this drive-by wire. What that means is the accelerator pedal is going to send a signal to the PCM, which is the power control module or ECM engine control module, and then that is going to send the signal to the throttle body and it's going to move the throttle blade where it needs to go. And there's also going to be a throttle position sensor in here that is going to send a signal back to the computer to tell it where it is. Over time, you're going to get carbon buildup on the throttle body and on the blade itself. So the computer has to make up for that and keep the throttle blade open a little bit longer and a little bit more to compensate for that so that the engine runs well. Let's say we're going to clean the throttle body. Get some of that carbon out of there. Use some brake cleaner or some carburetor cleaner. Now the throttle body is clean, or if you're replacing the throttle body and we put it back on the vehicle, now you're going to have to do a throttle body relearn. So depending on the type of vehicle you have, you may just need to start the vehicle and let it idle for a while. And the RPMs may be very high. You might have to let it run for three minutes and then shut the vehicle off and then run it again for three minutes. Um, it depends on the type of vehicle. Other vehicles, you may just have to turn the key on for a, a small amount of time, then shut it off, then turn it on again. It depends, all the vehicles are slightly different. And also some vehicles, you may have to drive the vehicle um, at highway speeds or 40 miles an hour, accelerating and decelerating for a certain amount of time. And if you have a higher end scan tool that can actually do the reset procedure, you can use that and reset the idle. So now you know when you should calibrate your throttle body. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.